So we're beginning in the semi-supine position, either with your legs over a bolster or a pillow or your knees bent and your feet on the floor. Letting your neck be long and your shoulder blades be broad. Everything relaxing. And take a long, slow breath in. Puff out your cheeks. And then breathe out through the mouth with a sigh and let go. And again, a nice, long, slow breath in through the nostrils. Puffing out the cheeks and letting go. Bring your awareness to the breath in your nostrils. Touch and temperature of the breath. And as we continue with this awareness of the breath in the nostrils, we will do a one to 10 breath. So you'll inhale and count the odd numbers, exhale and count the even numbers, all the way from one to 10. After your next exhale, bringing your hands to rest onto your belly, over the low lobes. And focusing your awareness on the breath in and out of the low lobes. And as we do this, we will practice another round of one to 10 breaths. Following the next exhale, moving the hands to rest over the mid lobes, 
the heels of the hands on the side of the rib cage, fingers resting under the breasts or pecs. And with your awareness flowing in and out of these mid lobes, let's do another round of one to ten breaths. After the next exhale, leave your left hand where it is, move the right hand to the upper chest. And we're going to move into the full yoga breath. So as we inhale through the nostrils, we take the breath down into the low lobes as they expand. And then the mid lobes and the high lobes. Breath flowing out of the nostrils from the low lobes, then the mid lobes and the high lobes. So please continue on with this smooth flowing breath, enjoying those little still pauses in between inhales and exhales or exhales and inhales as well. Allowing the breath to be long and deep. After the next exhale, arms come down by the side with the palms down. Continuing with the full yoga breath, let your arms float up on the inhale and back over behind as the inhale finishes. And on the exhale, they float smoothly back down by your sides. Please keep this going. Once the arms come up and over behind, allow them to stay there. And then have a big stretch, a yawn. Do it a couple of times if you feel like you want to.
And then once you're done, removing the bolsters and blankets. Lengthening out the legs. Spine is long. Arms a little away with the palms up and bringing your knees and ankles together. Letting your fingers stretch out so all the fingernails come onto the floor and we'll move through the crocodile series. So we're going to take the right heel and place it in between the big toe and the second toe of the left foot. Then step that foot down and swap, doing the same with the left. And so we continue with this Try and keep it slow and controlled. And as you do it, feel tiny movements, at the very base of the spine. And you can visualize red. And then the next time that the left heel touches down, let your hands and feet relax. And then inhale, tighten everything up. Your face, hands, feet, shoulders, everything. Breathe out, let go. Bringing the knees and ankles back towards each other, stretching out the fingers. And then we are going to take our right ankle and swap it over the left. Step it down, left angle, ankle <laughs> over the right. And continue. So a little higher in the spine. The colour to visualise is orange. Gently moving from side to side. Then once the left foot comes down, let the feet and the hands relax. Inhale, tighten everything up. Then let go. Knees and ankles back together, taking the right foot on top of your left knee. You can take your arms a little wider out if you like. Then start to let this knee rock from side to side. So they can be quite large movements or they can be smaller. Just do what feels right for your body. And we're moving into the third energy centre now. We can visualise yellow. And once you come to the middle, just swap the legs over and then starting to move the left leg. Visualising yellow, feeling those tiny movements in the spine. As the knee comes up, lengthen out the leg, letting everything be relaxed. Then inhale, tighten. And let go. Feel 
bending the knees into semi-supine position. Starting to let your legs rock from side to side. You can visualize green as we do this one. Noticing that you're moving about to the middle of the spine with the movements now. Coming back to the centre, widening the feet and then start to let your legs rock from side to side again. And then coming to the middle, stepping your feet back in line with the hips, slide them away. Inhale, tighten everything. And let go. All right, so bending the knees, bringing your elbows into your side, pointing your fingers to the ceiling with the palms facing each other. And then bring your knees up over your body so the outsides of the thighs are facing the palms. And we'll start to rock the, the legs from side to side. You can use your hands as a little buffer. And you can go as far or as small as you like with these movements. And you can use your hands to give yourself a little extra push Come back to the middle, moving your head in the opposite direction to your knees. Sky blue is our colour this time around. Come into the middle, feet lowering, lengthening out your legs. And then inhale, tighten everything. And release. bringing the knees and ankles together. Take your arms up over behind, interlacing the fingers and having your index fingers pointing out long. Bend your right knee and put your foot onto the ground. And then as we inhale, we'll start to roll towards the left. So the hip will roll first, then onto your rib cage. Then up onto your side, lengthen your right leg out on top of the left, have a big stretch. Keep on breathing. And then flop back onto your back. Interlace your fingers the other way. And then bend your left knee, foot onto the floor. As you inhale, firstly roll the hips onto the right hip, then onto the rib cage, up onto the shoulders, lengthen your leg and stretch. And exhale, flop. 
Release your arms, bring them back down by the sides. Inhale, tighten everything. And let go. Slow breaths. Bend the knees, come back into semi supine, roll onto your side and come up to seated. So sitting onto your sit bones, let your legs widen, bring your hands onto your knees, and just start to slide down one leg with the hand, and then the other. So just keep on sliding, and as you do this, you cover the different areas of your skin on your leg as the hand slides. and then coming up to the middle. Bring your legs back in. Take your hands behind, start making circles with your ankles, big circles. Go back the other way. And then come to the center. So we'll sit back up nice and tall onto the sit bones, bending your right knee and lifting the foot and placing it to the outside of your left leg. So sitting up tall, take your left arm out to the side and give your knee a really big hug. So you want to wrap your left elbow around your right knee and you sort of twisted, your body's twisted to the right a little bit. And then you'll inhale, sit yourself up, lift your foot, and you should be getting a stretch into your buttocks. Your right hand can be holding onto your shin somewhere. And then let the shoulders relax down, hug your knee in a bit closer towards your left shoulder. Taking some nice breaths. Then release that foot down. Let your ankle, your right ankle, sit onto your left thigh. And then just see if you can let your right knee drop down to the floor a little bit more. Um, so you can hold on to your left ankle, your right ankle with your left hand and place your right hand onto your right knee and just maybe give it a gentle move towards the floor. And then release. So we're going to take that foot, the right foot inside of the left thigh or knee or shin. Sitting up nice and tall, placing your hands onto your knee. Point your toes away and then bring them back towards your knee away and then back and then let them remain back towards your knee without being forceful. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine and as you exhale slide your hands down your leg. Try and keep your spine, particularly your lower back and your neck nice and long and then inhale slide back up 
and exhale, slide forward. Inhale, slide up. And now swap your hands. So they're gonna cross over and be on either side of the thigh. Inhale, and now exhale, slide your hands down your leg, keeping the spine and the neck long. Hold it here. On an exhale, maybe slide a little further down the leg. And then let your chin drop towards your chest, round out through the spine. Make sure those toes are back towards your body. Right knee relaxing. So if you're quite flexible, you could be holding on to the outside of your foot with your hands. But the main thing is we're feeling a stretch in the back of the leg. And then inhale, slide up. Take your hands to either side of your right knee, put them onto the floor, inhale. And then exhale, bend your elbows, let your body come towards your right thigh and your forehead moving towards the floor. And then inhale, press up. Stretching out your legs, move them together. Sitting up nice and tall, bend your left knee and step that left foot to the outside of your right leg. So your left hand is on your shin, right arm comes out to the right. <clears throat> And then we'll bring our body in towards the thigh, wrap your right arm, elbow, around your knee. And then inhale, sit yourself up, drawing the knee towards the shoulder. Opposite shoulder, and you might be twisted a little bit or your chest will be facing a little bit towards the left. And if you'd like to, you can use your left hand to just Press that leg in a little more towards the body. And release the foot down. Let your knee drop out to the left, moving your ankle onto the thigh. So hold on to your ankle with your right foot, left hand onto the left knee, and maybe just a slight bit of weight to move the knee to the floor, opening up through the hip, just a little. And then release. So we're gonna take our left foot now into the thigh or the knee, just inside the leg somewhere, if that's comfortable for you. Sitting up tall, point your toes away, back towards your knee, extending through the heel, point away and extend. And then keep them extended, but relax into it, hands onto your leg. Up tall, inhale, and then exhale, hinging from the hip, slide your hand down your leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, slide down, maybe a little further. Keep the lower back and the, the head and the neck lengthened. Inhale, come up. Cross the hands to the other side of your leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and slide. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale so you can slide a little further. And then chin drops round out the spine, engaging into that stretch that might flow all the way from the sole of your foot up to your neck.
And then inhale, slide up. Place your hands to either side of your left leg onto the floor. Inhale. And then on the exhale, bend the elbows, take the chest and body towards the thigh, forehead towards the floor. And then inhale, come up. Bring the soles of the feet towards each other, letting your knees widen, holding onto your ankles. Let your knees have a little flutter. And then let them be heavy. Slide your hands down your legs and actually slide your feet a little bit further away from your body. So you're holding onto the top of your feet and then just let your chin drop, round out through the spine and again allowing the knees to be heavy. And inhale, come up, bring your knees back towards each other and then over onto the hands and knees. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, lengthening the spine, broadening the shoulder blades as we go into our cat breath. So we'll inhale, tailbone easing back and up. Let the spine dip towards the mat, still keeping some tone in the belly. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chin. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone under, slowly round out through the spine, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, tailbone easing back and up. Opening the front of the body, rolling the shoulders back. And then exhaling, tucking the tailbone, rounding out through the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. So please keep this moving. And then after the next exhale, return to neutral. Once you're neutral, lateral cat, looking towards one ankle, around the arm and then the other. So your yeah, spine's moving from side to side now. And then come back to the center. Tuck the toes under, walk your hands back, sit onto your heels, have a stretch for your feet. Give your wrists a shake. So as you shake your wrists, also shake your arms and shake them all around the body. Just giving them a flick and a shake. Place your fingers down onto the floor, lift your knees up, bring your fingers back closer to your feet, let your heels come down and your bottom lift, and then elbows onto the knees. Bend your knees more deeply, press into your feet, hinge yourself up and come to standing.
All right, so let's take our feet just a wider than shoulder distance apart. And then we're going to body wrap. Let the arms swing around the body. And then slow that down. And stepping your feet back underneath your hips. So with the feet underneath the hips, shoulders relaxing down, lengthening up through the head. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. We're going to let the body weight come forward and back. So just go forward and back a few times. Feeling the feet. And then start to go side to side. And as you do this, you're just feeling those different points of contact and the change of pressure at the feet. And we'll start to take that weight around the outside of the feet. Back the other way. And then coming to the centre. Closing your eyes, if that's okay for you. Feeling your feet connected to the floor, plugged in like Australian power points. And then as you inhale, feel as if you're inhaling from the earth and bringing the energy up through the body, through the crown of the head and beyond. On the exhale, we breathe from above the crown of the head, take this energy back down through the body and grounding you to the earth. So three more times with your own rhythm, feeling the play of energy in the body. And then once you've finished, inhale and take the arms out to the side. Turning your right palm up, left palm down. So we're swiveling up through the shoulders. We'll turn to the right, inhale and rotate the palms in the opposite direction to each other. And then exhale, roll them over the other way, looking towards the left hand. Inhale, rotating and looking towards the right. Exhale to the left. Once more, inhale to the right. Exhale, left. And then inhale to the centre, palms up. Bring your fingertips onto your shoulders. Let your elbows move towards each other in front of the body. Let the chin drop towards your chest. And now we're going to make big circles with our elbows. The biggest circles we can make. Once the elbows come towards each other, change directions. And then once they're together again, unfurl. 
Now place your right hand with the palm up just underneath the belly button and then bring your left arm up so the palm faces down. Relax your shoulders, keeping your legs and your lower body as they are. Inhale. And as you exhale, slide your body across to the right. So the upper body and feel like you're lifting up through your left elbow, stretching the side. Inhale, come up to the center, circle the arms around to swap. And then exhale, slide across to the left, as if the, the shoulders are sliding against a wall. Inhale, come up, circle the arms, nice smooth movement. And then exhale, move to the right. Inhale, flowing, changing the arms. And then exhale to the left. Inhale, let the arms come out to the side and then relax them down. Give your shoulders another roll. Back the other way. And now we're going to do a little balance. So let's take our arms up to the side. Let your weight move across to your left foot. Make sure that your hip stays in and doesn't stick out to the side. So long, strong leg, foot connected, stomach muscles drawing to the spine, shoulders relaxed. And then we'll peel the right heel off of the floor, come onto the toe. And that might just be enough of a balance for you. You might like to lift your toe slightly off of the floor. You might like to lift your knee up a little higher. So think about your left foot connected, your left leg is strong, stomach muscles drawing in, pelvic floor engaged and lifting up through the crown of the head. And then take some nice long slow breaths. All right, let's slowly release. Give the arms a little bit of a flop and a wriggle. Give your legs a shake. And then bring your feet back underneath the hips. Feel your right leg, right foot connected, right leg strong. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, relax the shoulders. Drawing in through the core as we take our weight across to the right, peeling off the left heel, toes onto the floor, and then going to a lift if you want to, wherever it works for you. Just find the spot that you can hopefully balance. Feel the foot connected, the leg lengthened, you could even do a little tightening of the buttocks muscles, lifting the pelvic floor, breathing. And then slowly release. So give everything a bit of a shake and you're going to get your bolster now. Place the bolster in front of you. And then step your feet out. Now they need to be, if you can, at least as wide as the bolster. Maybe a little bit wider. Have the hands into the crease of the hips. Inhale. 
and exhale, bend the knees. So you're bending your knees out towards your toes. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your knees and then hinge and bring your spine or your body forward. Place your hands onto your bolster. So you can adjust your feet so that they feel um, like they're in just the right spot for you. So they can be pointing ahead, they can be pointing out a little bit wider. It very much depends. And then let your elbows bend and let the body relax. Coming forward. And maybe let yourself move the weight forward and back. Not too much. Just little movements and as you do this, notice if there's a change in where you feel it, whether it becomes a little stronger. And then to the middle, straighten your arms and we're going to take our right hand onto the bolster underneath our nose. Bring your left hand to hold on to your left hip. Your spine is lengthened. Make sure your knees are soft and not locked. And then inhale, look towards the left and then roll the left shoulder and left elbow up towards the ceiling, opening the chest. And exhale, roll back to the center. Now, as you do this, try not to collapse your body down into your shoulder. You've got to lift up through the, the arm and be active through the body. Now, you can either leave your hand onto your hip or you can take your left hand for the moment to the outside of the bolster. And then we're going to inhale, look to the left and take your arm up parallel to the floor and then exhale, rotate further towards the left. So just wherever you get to. Lifting up through that arm, relaxing the shoulders down towards the waist, lengthening out through the crown of the head. Breathing. And then releasing down. Bringing the hands under the shoulders, bend your knees, press into your feet, come up to standing. Give your shoulders a little gentle bounce. And relax. Bend your knees, hands into the creases, hinge your hips back, tip forward, hands under the shoulders. And then we're going to bring that left hand underneath the nose onto the bolster, right hand holding onto your hip. So lengthening up through the left hand and then inhale, look towards the right and then roll the right shoulder and the right elbow up towards the ceiling. Couple of breaths. On the exhale, release back. And you can decide to leave your hand there or you could take the right palm to the outside of the bolster. So lengthening up through that left arm. And then inhale, right arm comes parallel. We look to the right. On the exhale, rotate it up towards the ceiling. Active through the right and left arms. Lengthening through the neck. Then release back to the middle. Hands underneath the shoulders on the bolster. Relax your body forward. And then bend your knees, press into your feet, come up to standing and then walk your feet in. So let's give the legs 
a shake. Awesome. Uh, okay. Bringing the feet back under the hips. Let your arms come out to the sides, palms forward, and then we're going to give ourselves a really big hug. So you wrap your hands around your shoulders as far as you can get them. And then relax your shoulders down, let your chin drop towards your chest. And as you inhale, pull your shoulder blades apart. Really feel like you're breathing into the space between your shoulder blades. And on the exhale, really let the shoulder blades relax down towards the waist. So you're inhaling and breathing into the space between the shoulder blades, pulling them apart. Exhale, releasing. And then on the inhale, lift the head, widen the arms. And then exhale, wrap them in front of you, left under right this time. Hands get all the way around between the shoulders. Chin drops to the chest, relax the shoulder blades. Inhale, between the shoulder blades, pull them apart. Exhale, soften. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, release and let your arms just swing down, lifting up your head. Turn the right palm out, inhale it up and reach to hold on to your left ear. And then as you exhale, let your head be heavy, dropping towards the right. Stretching the left fingers down to the floor, making sure your left shoulder is nice and relaxed. And let your chin come in towards your left collarbone and then away, so you're adding a little nod here. Drop the ear towards the shoulder, and then inhale, lift the head and the arm. Exhale, relax the arm down to the side. Turn the right, left palm out, inhale it up. Hold on to your right ear. Head's heavy. Exhale, ear drops towards the left shoulder. Relaxing your right shoulder blade, stretching the fingers to the floor. Add your little nod, bring the chin in towards the right collarbone and then away, slowly moving. No pulling, just the weight of the arm. And then letting the ear drop towards the shoulder again. Inhale to come up. Exhale to relax. And now interlace your hands behind your head. And let your elbows come forward, relaxing the shoulder blades down. So keeping your lower body long, and this is the one where we stretch from the bra line. So let's inhale. And as we exhale from the bra line, feel like you're kind of lifting up through the back of your head and then you're arching it over, like you're going over a big fitness ball and then you're letting your head be heavy and your elbows be heavy. 
and breathing along the spine. No pulling, just heavy. And inhale, lift up the head and widen the arms. All right. So bolsters down behind you. And standing in front of the bolster, spine is long. I'm going to do this super slow. Inhale. Let your knees soften. Let your chin come towards your chest, unraveling the spine ever so slowly. It feels like your arms are getting heavier. Your knees can bend more. Slowly, slowly unstacking the spine, coming all the way down into a forward fold so that your belly's, belly touches your thighs. Hanging. If you've got problems with the eyes or blood pressure, elbows or hands can be onto your knees. Otherwise, hang forward. Give your arms and your head a little shake and then release and let go and breathe. Bring your hands onto your bolster and take a seat. Okay, so we're sitting onto the bolster and the feet, uh, the knees are bent and your feet are comfortably on the floor. We're going to let our arms come down, palms facing each other and then inhale them up fingers pointing to the ceiling. As you exhale, rotate your chest to the right and open your arms. Inhale, bring the arms back up and come back to the center. And then exhale, chest rotates to the left, arms open. Inhale, the arms up and body to the center. Keep those shoulders relaxed as we exhale, turn to the right and widen the arms. Inhale, come up and to the centre. Exhale to the left and open. Inhale, come up and then relax your arms down. Move in front of the bolster. And then we're going to go into our inversion. So elbows onto the bolster, stepping the feet back, chin towards the chest, lift your bottom, roll yourself back over, land on your shoulder blades, adjust the bolster so it feels like it's in a comfortable spot. And then bring the knees up one by one and then the legs up into the air also. Taking your arms out to the side, with the palms up, or circling your hands and arms up around your head. We'll do the figure of eight breath while we're here. So every time you begin and inhale the breath and your visualization of the breath, 
dives in through the navel. So we'll inhale, breath moves through the navel and out the sacrum, which is about where your body is on the bolster. Flows up the back of the legs. Whenever you're ready to exhale, just start that. The awareness flows over the feet and back down the front of your legs. When you're ready to inhale, the breath dives through the navel, comes out the mid back, flows up the back of the body. Again, exhaling when you're ready, over the top of the head, down the front of the body. And then we inhale again through the navel and out through the sacrum. So please keep this flowing. A good practice, the awareness of your breath, maintaining your focus. At the end of your next exhale, just breathing naturally. Feeling the sensations in your feet and legs. And then slowly, slowly bend the knees and then let your feet come down to the floor one by one. Either leave them there or slide the feet further away. And then prepare to come up to seated. So hold on to the outside of your bolster. Bring one knee up over your body. Keep yourself up so you use some momentum to sit up and then fold your, bend your knees, fold your body over your legs, give them a hug.
Inhale yourself up. Take the bolster lengthways behind your spine. Have your cushion on the end. Sitting in front of the bolster. Bend your knees, chin to your chest, hold the bolster and then drape your spine back over the bolster, head coming onto your head support. Arms moving out to the side with the palms up. And then deciding what you'd like to do with your legs, either lengthening them away, soles of feet together with the knees wide, or crossing your ankles. And simply just leaving the knees bent. Take your awareness to your breath. As the breath flows in, you feel that you're sending it to your heart centre. And as you exhale, say to yourself, let go. So you're letting go of the body. Weight of the body surrenders to gravity. Letting go of anything that's not serving you in life. And you don't need to think about those things. You just keep on telling yourself with each exhale to let go. So if you feel particularly comfortable and very um, inclined to stay here, you're most welcome to for relaxation. If not, bend your knees and then give yourself a little push and roll off of the bolster onto your right side or your left side if that feels more comfortable. Snuggle the knees up. And then sit yourself up and then moving back for relaxation.
allowing your body to settle into the space. Bring your awareness back to the breath in the nostrils. And practice another round of one to 10 breath. Inhaling on the odd numbers, exhaling as you count the evens. And now take your awareness to your whole right foot and leg. So from the toe to your hip. Feel into your right leg. Let everything relax completely. Noticing if there's any niggly areas or any injuries, any tightness, and breathe into those places, spaces. Otherwise, just breathing up and down the leg. Moving your awareness to your left leg and toes to hip. Relax. And become aware sending healing energy in if you need to to particular areas or just letting the breath flow, allowing the leg to relax. Okay, so let's now become aware of the right side of the torso and the buttocks all the way up to the shoulder. Feeling it, healing energy flowing in, relaxing. Awareness moving to the left side of the torso, from the hip to the shoulder. And now to the right arm from fingertips up to the shoulder joint and shoulder blade.
And now to the left arm and hand. From fingertips to shoulder and shoulder blade. Awareness now with your spine, allowing your focus to flow from the tailbone, flowing up to the base of the skull and back down. Just feel this smooth flow of awareness and attention. Awareness now of the whole right side of your head. <clears throat> the scalp, facial features, senses, right side of the brain. To the left side of the head, face, scalp and brain. Feel the entire right side of your body from the toes to the fingers to the crown of the head. Feel it expand as you inhale, release as you exhale. And now awareness to the left side, the whole left side, toes to fingers to crown of head. And now the whole body, the whole body. Feeling the breath moving in your body. Allowing your breath to deepen. Start to feel the textures of things that are touching your skin. Feel the back of the body. Front of your body. The air against your skin. Allow the breath to deepen yet again. The 
Let your head ease from side to side. Run your tongue over your teeth. Give your fingers and toes a little wriggle. Circling the ankles and the wrists. When you're ready, have a big stretch and a yawn. And bend your knees, roll onto your side and snuggle up for a moment. Three things you're grateful for. And then bring yourself up to seated. So hands to the heart centre, we'll finish with the loving kindness prayer. Inhale, big circle. May we be filled with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease in our lives. And may we be happy. Namaste.